This video is sponsored by Skillshare. The first thousands of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a free premium membership trial to help you to explore your creativity. If you're looking to learn new skills or to level up one you're already interested in, Skillshare contains thousands of classes covering a wide range of topics. Don't think you need to have something in mind that you want to learn about. Most of my time on Skillshare has been spent watching things that I discovered from using the Browse All Classes option. In fact, that has shown me that there's a big difference between what I think I want to learn about and what I actually want even if it's just a brush up on my knowledge about something I'm already good at, or if I just want to learn about one very specific part of a topic that otherwise I don't know much about. For instance, I liked Olaf's guide on making a short film. I feel as a YouTuber I've approached this subject from a different direction, which makes it all the more interesting to compare what I do with how he does it, as somebody who actually does it properly and who works with faces I actually know and stuff. With learning, I'm most afraid of the time it would take, like being put off by a four hour long guide that I wouldn't be able to fit into my day, but since each class is split into short, concise sections, it has made it easy to jump to the bits that I'm most interested in, if for no other reason than just to see if it's the right tutorial series for me. Compared with YouTube, Skillshare is more focused on the topic of teaching. It's reassuring and motivating to be able to view the teacher's credentials, and if a class is up then you know it's complete, and is easily viewable in one place. The site has a number of free classes, but for $15 a month or $99 a year you'll be given unlimited ad-free access to everything. Link in this video's description. Barcodes are boring. We expect them to scan our bread in with no problem and that's about it. But QR codes? Ooh, QR codes are exciting. They look a bit like a picture, but hidden within those black and white squares are secret messages. Or links to a website. Or, I don't know, anything. That's what makes them so exciting. And thanks to modern technology, anyone can scan them in at any time using their phone. These QR codes are finding their way into all sorts of places. They've been on train tickets in China since 2010. They've helped make that track and trace program actually a bit of fun. And rather morbidly, they're even making their way onto tombstones. So that long after I'm gone, people can still have fun scanning in the code that's situated above my grave. All these uses, and only a finite number of combinations before we'll run out but I don't think we need to worry too much about that happening just yet. Plus, scanning them in is a hell of a lot of fun. I play a game with my phone to see if I can line up a QR code before my camera recognises it as a thing. My camera normally wins. It makes me feel inferior. But it's great, isn't it? It's such a hassle-free way of getting information. I don't feel cheated by it, even if it does lead to information that I don't particularly care about. And these QR codes have even been making their way into Counter-Strike. Let's see what sort of adventures the QR codes in this game will take us on. Andreas over on Twitter tried scanning the QR code on the Operation Pass, and it read 512-16177. What could this mean? Yeko searched for it, and 51 red, 216 green and 177 blue looks like this. From this he reached the obvious conclusion, Zeus Skin confirmed. And I like that the Twitter account Zeus Skin Wen agreed with that. Ara added the 51 and the 77 together and it made 128, providing definitive evidence that 128 tick servers will be coming in 2021 on June the 1st. Or maybe it's the 21st of the 6th of the 1st. Anyway, it doesn't matter, because Dimitri scanned it in and was linked straight to the page for the operation. Thanks for spoiling the fun, Dimitri. I scanned it in as well, just to be sure. It was tricky to get a clear enough picture of the QR code, but running the game at 5k did the job, and sure enough it linked me straight to the operation page too. What a shame. So this one was a bit of a disappointment, but there are other QR codes in CSGO too. In Broken Fang, people quickly discovered this QR code in the corner of the courtyard on the new wingman map, Guard. People were able to scan this without having to redraw it, but since I had a lot of pixels to read from, and a lot of spare time, I decided to redraw it in paint, and the resulting image, when scanned, revealed the text, Chicken. Quite apt for Counter-Strike. The MP7 Bloodsport skin has one that links to blogcounterstrike.net, which is a Valve run site detailing the game's latest updates worth blogging about. I asked Slimeface, the maker of this skin, if this was his intention, and he said that he wanted it to link to his blog, but that he didn't want to take any risks, so felt Counter-Strike's blog page was a safe bet. And this one on the Katowice 2019 viewer pass also links back to that blog page. This one makes more sense since it would have been a good place to learn more about that event at the time, and the chances are the site will be up for as long as these items are readable in the game, so there's no risk of it leading to a dodgy site of some sort. Smart thinking Slimeface. He believes that this code on the Galil Cerberus will also lead to Counter-Strike's blog page, but I've been unable to read this with anything. If any of you are interested in trying, then here's a clearer one I drew earlier. 
The name tag item contains a barcode which I wasn't able to scan. I mean I managed it a few times but they just came back with different and random letters and numbers every time, so this one's a bit of a mystery. Try it for yourself if you'd like. Did you know that the org contains a QR code on the side of its scope? You should have done because this is visible no matter what org skin you're using, plus I showed it earlier in this video. Unfortunately it's difficult to get a clear view of it. If only there was a way to view this texture file directly. Oh look, here it is, but sadly it still isn't detailed enough to be clearly read so I was unable to draw it in paint. As a last resort I tried scanning it in with my QR reader because it's spooky how great computers are at reading these codes even in poor conditions and to my amazement it successfully read it as Aztec. Wow, a reference to a classic Counter-Strike map. Or not. These types of QR images are known as Aztec codes since it can look a bit like an Aztec pyramid, so this isn't a lot of help. Now it's not unheard of for guns to come with QR codes on them, sometimes it's just a serial number, but this one here links to the gun's instruction manual. The Rainbow Six Siege subreddit had a bit more success with the QR code found on the scope in their game. Thanks to a higher texture resolution, the QR code read numbers to letters. Then if this is applied to the series of numbers and letters seen on the other side of the scope, and then backwards on one word for some reason, it translates to I love this scope. What a nice little easter egg. But this being the internet, Temp Mike applied even more creative license to it and proposed, with the right cipher, it could read I hope she's S cups. Nice. That whole post was a gold mine. Another post pointed out that Bible verses had been referenced on rifle scopes in real life. This proved to be very controversial, and when asked about it, the head of marketing for the scope manufacturer claimed that they had started doing this after the company's founder, a deeply religious man, had died in a plane crash in 2003. I swear I have no idea where I'm going to end up when I start making a video like this one. But as far as CSGO's org code is concerned, unless somebody can work out the QR code from this blurry image, we'll never know where it links to for sure. Probably back to the blog page. There might be more QR codes in the game that I haven't spotted, or have forgotten to mention, so let me know in the comments section if you can think of any others. I also did a Google search and found one last bizarre QR related thing. Classtools.net, a site that produces content for teachers and students to use in and around the classroom, for some reason has a CSGO QR adventure. The idea is to print out these quiz questions around the school and then to let students run about the place trying to answer them. I checked it out and it contained several questionable questions like what is the most expensive gun in the game? To which the answer is, apparently, the Negev, though this hasn't been true for a number of years now. Class tools, please fix. QR codes, they're a lot of fun. Here's one for you to use. I wonder where it will take you.